What's up, guys? I uh, got some requests uh, when I posted some pictures of this knurling tool that I, I recently picked up here on eBay. So I just thought I'd do a little video and show you what makes it tick, uh, just to give you some dimensions. Yeah, it's about six inches long. It's got a three quarter inch shank. The body of it's about an inch wide. It's got three eighths by uh, three quarter knurls. And uh, let's open this thing up. So you got your screw here to adjust your tension. You got a little one here for a, for a lock. And uh, let's see, this would be the side that would be up against the chuck or call it, whichever the case may be. Uh, someone got a little up close and personal. You could tell it got, got kissed a little bit there. Uh, nothing too bad, but let me try to get in close just so you guys can see get an idea of the fit and finish of this thing. It's, you know, it's pretty nice. I couldn't find any badging on it, you know, identification to hunt this thing down to get any more details, but definitely well made. So I've already got these, you know, loosened up a bit here. So let's get it going. That's it as far as hardware. <coughs> Excuse me. Very well made. I mean, just the fit and the finish. And here's our uh, threaded in with our set screw. Get this end off, same way. And you know, the neurons pop right out. Uh, now let's see here. We'll just lift this straight off and you can see the, uh, the other half is pretty much the same thing. The way these interlock. There's no way to, uh, to tighten uh, the jaws themselves, but there's no need to at this point. This thing hasn't been beat up or abused to the point where it's getting loose or any play. Uh, so we got this deal here. And here's the, the shank. Try to keep this thing in frame. I think uh, some guys had some thoughts of, you know, making their own version of this. This thing is pretty involved. A lot of thought into this thing. And the fit is just, you know. If any of you guys know who made this thing, I'm still curious. Uh, as you can see, I can't even get the thing back together. There we go. Yeah, unrehearsed here. All right, there we go. Well, that's pretty much it. As you can see, teardown and reassembly is pretty straightforward. 
Uh, you wouldn't catch me trying to re reproduce one of these things, but uh, I know some of you guys out there are, are well capable. Anyhow, uh, any questions, let me know, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.